All right, chat. I don't remember when I last played Pikmin. It was Pikmin 251, and that was some time ago. And then after a couple months after I beat that, they were like, okay, Pikmin 3 is coming out on Switch. Who saw that coming? And it's going to be a deluxe version. And it's going to be full price again. So that that kind of that kind of blows a bit, but it, it you gotta understand if a game came out on the Wii U and it was good or popular, then it's gonna come to Switch. It's just you know I'm waiting for Pikmin Four for a uh, e e e couple years. I'm gonna play spicy mode. I don't know what uh I don't know what anything is deluxe about this game is. I haven't played Pikmin Three since it like came out, and I don't even remember when that was. So, before I worry about additional content, I just want to play the video game. I fucking love Pikmin. Pikmin's such a great series. It's not too loud, is it, chat? I didn't change the volume, not that I can, but I just want to make sure that volume is consistent for everything. I genuinely love this series. Side stories. Mission, and then bingo battle. Okay. Well, I'll go with the recommended. Basic info. Badges. Weird. Now, I wonder how this is going to work. Because in the in the Wii U version, the gamepad was pretty important. Because you needed to multitask three different captains. Oh yeah, there's also co-op in this game now, isn't there? Cool. Speedruns of this game were quite impressive. Because it was a lot of uh, micromanaging. I'm not going to do that, by the way. Wait, there's a difficulty setting? How do I activate that? Why doesn't it activate? Chat, how do I make it hard mode? What? I can't make it hard mode. The game won't let me. Ultra spicy. What? There's a spicy mode? Advanced players might save the start tank of challenge. Bruh. <laughs> I want to play spicy mode. I guess we're doing hard. Galactic date 20XX. At the far reaches of space lies a planet on the brink of ruin. The planet's name? Kofi. Due to a booming population, booming appetite, and a basic lack of planning. Kopai's inhabitants have all but exhausted their food supply. Their only hope is to find another planet with edible matter. Accordingly, they send unmanned scout vessels called sparrows out into space. To their dismay, the search is proving fruitless. Literally. Just as they're about to give up, Final vessel reports back with news of a miraculous discovery. They mobilize to investigate the planet, which they name PNF 404. Kofi's last hope rests on three intrepid explorers. I like how their their civilization is starving and they had enough time to do donuts around those planets. But as they initiate the landing sequence, something goes horribly wrong. So that wasn't the opening, that was actually the epilogue. The game's over. They tried and failed, that's it. I spent $79 for this. Good. All right, next game. Explore day exploration day 1 8:44 a.m. Charlie's crash site. Cool. Oh, so there's more there's more story elements to this one, and by that I mean tutorials. Tutorials for different things. I don't remember a whole lot about this game, to be honest with you. It looks nice, though. It really does. 
Wow. Well, this is way. Wow. Where am I? The last thing I remember is. Oh, of course, this must be PNF 404. P! Sorry, sorry. Charlie the ship. Charlie the ship, do you copy? This is your captain. I repeat, do you copy? What is the language they use? Hello? Anyone? It sounds like... It sounds like Japanese, but missing uh, syllables. There's no response. Where's my ship? My crew? You broke my crew! This is Charlie. He's the best character in the game. I managed to escape unscathed, but what about the rest of my crew? They could be anywhere on PNF 404. I've got to find Alf and Brittany. I've only hoped they survived. Whoa, chill, 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 chill. What's going on here? You get stuck in story mode, press to the view strategy hint, you can hide, yeah. Press the plus to open the base, yep. What are badges? Um. Oh. Dedicated badges. Bingo badges. I wanted to play on ultra spicy mode, but maybe jumping into that wouldn't have been too good until I know what's going on. I didn't know there was actually difficulty settings in this game. That's kind of sick. Mini radar, travel direction, radar direction, gyro. Ew, turn that off. Adjust POV and hint display. Actually, thank you. Dude, look at his... Look at his head when I do that. His neck, like, b breaks. Yeah, leave it Leave it to this jackass to immediately gain control of the character and force them to rotate to a point of sickness. Yep. Sounds right to me. Huh? Woo! There are more of them. A nice jingle. I seem to have wandered into a strange neighborhood. Why are they coming closer? My whistle will scare them. Stay back, I'm surrounded. Maybe I should throw them. Oh, this is weird. Hold on, I'll get it. Oh. I can throw them using A. You sure can. There you go. Y yes. Yes, I know how to. Yes. Okay. They don't appear hostile. So let me get this straight. You say that, but Pikmin become the most dangerous creatures on the planet when led by man. I can round up these creatures by pointing at them and pressing B and then throwing them with A. Sage, I would love this game. Press B to blow the whistle and call Pikmin over. Hold B longer to increase the whistle range. Yeah, moving A, yeah. Time to go! Damn, look at the size of that whistle. The word squad. I know it's a real word, but it makes me laugh. I blame internet culture for this. Squad up. Now, if I remember correctly, you could you could press a button to lock on things. I guess I don't have that control right now. Here, do this. Not much, not much point to that. You know, I never did like the yellow Pikmin's angle. It made them awkward to throw. 
More people. More. This is too hard to break. Hmm. There we go. Beat your giant stinky shroom. Good. Well done. We win. I'm the winner. 3D. Squid Squad. Squad up. Despite not having played this game for a long time, I seem to remember more than I thought I did. Those look dangerous. They sure do. Oh, they hate light. All right, bye. I have been abandoned. That's crazy. That in that cutscene, the Pikmin were like, Oh shit, there's trouble. Better get away from it. But then every time I play a Pikmin game, it's like, Oh shit, there's something coming to eat me. I guess I'll just stand here and die. I hate the onion crab. And I hate the, the anteater bulb orb. He's weird. It'll give me more controls eventually. It, it disables them until I can use them. It's like Other M. It's a miracle. I'm alive and somehow unharmed. I have missiles and bombs, but until Adam tells me I can use them, I'm going to not. Drake. I like how he rolls his R. Just as the SS Drake was about to land, we lost control and had to make an emergency escape. The onion crab is weird. During the chaos, I was separated from my other two team members as well as the ship itself. <sighs> as the ship's engineer, it's up to me, Elf, to find both the SS Drake and my crew members. Guess I'll drown. Face off. What was that? I was gonna say, like, if I got a Pikmin there, I could just walk over here and give him a give him a bath, and then extinct the game and break the game. Too high, can't go back that way. It appears that the specimen I just spotted has company. What's that stuck in the branch? I gotta say, I, I, I prefer the design of the old onions. CR, yeah. There we go. I heard him say tempura and now I'm hungry. Yeah, no, I like the I like the bulkier just ew, ew, ew. Yeah, I don't remember that ship being wiggly like that. I liked it better when it was stiff sticks. I was hoping it was fruit, but it doesn't appear to be edible at all. Ugh. Nevertheless, the red fellow seemed quite pleased now that it's freed. Oh wait a minute. I'm supposed to be looking for those two missing. Look around. Face forward, ZL, and look around. R won't work. I have the joy cots held sideways. Cool. Okay. I think it's just gibberish, like animalese. Second. Friend. Trying to build some bridges. Build bridge. His neck breaks too when he does that. Damn. These coal pies got some agile necks. Yeah. 
Okay. No, oh, the older design was like, I don't know, they're so small looking and, and I guess they're more organic-like with the, the weird tentacle things. But I like them better when they were just kind of bulky flower bud looking things. Hey, it's a gamepad. My cop pad. Thank goodness I found it. I can use it to locate the SS Drake. Yeah, I bet. Yeesh. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeesh. Yeesh, that makes sense. Pikmin are capable of producing their own glue-like substance to make things stick together like that. Uh-huh. Wonderful. The bridge is complete. You can't just throw things like... You, know, you can't do that. It doesn't work. It's like when you, you, you attack walls in Pikmin and they just fall into the ground. That doesn't make any sense. Great. It still works, of course. I'd expect nothing less from Copite Cop Engineering. I'll check my surroundings by scrolling through the Copad screen. Use L to locate your surroundings. Where's the Drake? I should follow that signal. And it. Uh huh. The Drake isn't that far from here. Lucky for you, there's only five places in this entire world on this planet. Maybe the other two crew members are there as well. I'd best head in that direction. They all just so happen to find Pikmin too. That's crazy. Now we can start exploring with the help of the co pad. Use the radar to check the map and the camera to take photos. Photos of what? Oh, okay. Activate the camera via the minus button. Snap a photo. That's not the minus button. What? That is the minus. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh. Hold on. Give me, give me the camera. Yes. Yes. Quality. Look how shiny he is. Just toggle the flash. Your photos will be displayed on the world map. No, you don't need to show anyone that. See, I did it for the Achievo chat. That's all it was. It was for the Achievo. Thank you, Yo-Yo, for gifting a sub. Is that red thing food? Sure is. Lock-on feels like cheating. I ain't trying to cheat. Oh, I can take them. My abilities would be better. If I could remember which button is the A button and which button is the B button. That thing is popping out of some sort of sprouts. Alright, go time. Whoa, I don't do shit for damage. Oh, that's pitiful. I don't even wanna I don't wanna humor that. I liked it better in Pikmin too, when I could I could beat up 90% of this uh, ecosystem with my bare hands. The only thing that avoided my wrath were enemies that flew and then bosses. Red Pikmin. So we're just calling them Pikmin too? I see. So this is how these little creatures propagate. How incredibly fascinating. Press A to pluck nearby Pikmin sprouts for speed to cancel. We're just calling them Pikmin, huh? 
Alright, come with me. I'm curious as to what about this become. Maybe it's because I'm on hard mode. That would make sense. Hard mode probably makes things a bit tankier. I would expect that anyway. Alright. Punch a wild creature into submission. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wow. Maybe I do need the lock on. I need the lock on because I am incapable of punt punting. Let's go. All of them are named them after Pick Pick Carrots. But do Kopais know what Pick Pick Carrots are? I thought they were a local delicacy of... Local delicacy of uh, Hokute. Maybe they'll explain it. I'm sure there's a reason. Maybe Olimar's report is wide now. Look at the size of this fucking whistle. Jeez, that, that that is ridiculous. You ain't missing anyone with that whistle. Holding off and changing in the flowers is a valid strategy. However, that requires waiting, and I don't want to wait. I'll just give them all nectar when I find it. They also have golden pick pick carrots, and Louie's an asshole. Louie might be one of the most detestable characters in, in Nintendo history. This is camera. There's no C-stick. I didn't want a hint. I wanted to know how I C-stick. I can't C-stick. That's why. Right, you know, I remember why. It's because you do this. You target... What? That was weird. Hmm. There it is, the charge button. Yeah. That's that's how you do that. What's that? <clears throat> it looks like someone left a data file here. Perhaps the cold pad will be able to read it. The onion is like a nest for the Pikmin. It both gives birth to them and provides them with shelter. Excellent. The cold pad can read the data file. So there are creatures called... These creatures are called Pikmin. Oh, that explains it. This information might come in handy later on. I'll save it in the cold pad's exploration notes. Wow, these these low times are terrible. Great. I don't think Captain Charlie wrote this data file, so who did? Could there be other intelligent life forms on this planet? Chad, I had a question that I wanted to ask. So... The thing is, originally, the plan, my plan for today was to, I didn't really have one, as I didn't actually expect the capture card to show up. Well, you're not gonna, what, you're not gonna show that to me? It didn't even show it to me. Weird. Uh... I had, uh, I was thinking I was just gonna do Genso Wanderer again. And the reason for that is that I had a question. I had a question. I wanted to, I was, I was still grinding some base level material. And I'm actually done <laughs> grinding defensive equipment, if you can believe that. Not like the super high level stuff, but the stuff that's like, oh, get a straw hat level 10, that level. I, I finished that. So what I wanted to ask was, I wanted to dedicate some time to collecting seals, and I figured the best place I can go to get seals is the Aya and Momiji DLC, because the Aya DLC has a ton of random blue seals that are really high quality. So I was gonna go there. The reason I'm asking is because I'm I'm wondering if there are any cutscenes that I have to be wary of. Cause I don't I don't wanna like 
I don't want to start a bunch of additional cutscenes in content, but I really want to go and grind there so I can get some blue seals. So I just I'd like to know ahead of time if I should do that. If it's one or two, then and I can avoid them, I'll avoid them. Otherwise, I, I just want to be careful. There's one cutscene in the mid dungeon camp. That's it. Should I also collect the articles? Because I might as well grab those too. Or do those activate something when you collect them all? There it is, the SS Drake. Those are after the midpoint. What happens if I finish the dungeon again? Does it just end? The copad isn't picking up any signs of life in the immediate area. What am I supposed to do now? The boss is still there. <laughs> Incoming transmission. Who could it be? Radical stuff is already active as you do the dungeon one, and it stays active not no matter what. I don't have all of the articles together, that's all. It's me, Brittany, do you copy? Thank goodness you're with the SS Drake, right? You need to think about it, if her glasses fall off her face, she is not getting them back on. She does not seem suited for space exploration for this reason. I made it through the landing in one piece, the thing is I'm trapped somewhere. And I'm stuck. Oh no, we got cut off. I wonder how far away Brittany is. But at the very least, I'm thankful that she appears to be safe and sound. Man, I was such a wiener. What's that strange sound? The sun is setting. What could this mean? Which could mean that nocturnal predators are starting to wake up. I should probably get off the planet's surface for now. Uh, so I, I guess I'll, I'll grind. Uh, I'll grind in the IL DLC. Then I'll just collect blue seals and I'll remove them from their weapons. Because I still need to level up. Chat, I looked in the log. I need to level up a, a, a silver knife to level 60, right? And if it's what I think it is, I need to do it twice. <laughs> so that's going to be a bit of an investment. So I might as well get started on it with that. I don't get much EXP from the DLC, but again, I'm looking for seals. Because if I'm going to do seal stuff, I might as well try to go for the big blue ones, right? I can also have blue seals. I just want to go and collect them, that's all. Kill two birds, one stone. Most of the supplies we brought with us are from Kopai we destroyed in the crash landing. So now we only have three days of edible provisions left. Drink your blue juice. Purely liquid diet. Starting tomorrow, I'll have to find some liquid food. Local food. The blue ones are not always better. I know, I know. But I, I, I'm pretty sure anything that's a blue seal and it says it's over 30% is probably better. I know I've played the game enough that I kind of know the, the basic pink seals are 20 to 30%. So if I get anything higher than 30%, I'll consider that a good seal. Cool. No one died. The end. Good day. We're shit ripped on this planet. Some creatures called Pikmin helped me find the SS Drake, but our cosmic drive key is nowhere to be found. We won't be going anywhere without that. Luckily, I made contact with Brittany, and we will set out to find her tomorrow. When I took off in the ship, the onion took flight as well. Odd, but amazing. Alright, you notice how the the message log is just slightly tilted to, to the left? Do you see that? That bothers me. Why isn't it just flat out? Why is it tilted like that? It makes me feel, it makes my, my eyes feel weird when I try to read it. Why? Why'd they do that? Can you imagine a Pikmin game where you can actually go out at night? It would be fucking chaos out there. There's so much, there's so many things attacking you. 
That would be hard mode, playing the game at nighttime. <laughs> Garden of Hope. Where is that on a real map? Where am I? Am I on Australia? I tracked down Brittany's signal. Right now, finding her is my highest priority. However, I'm also very concerned with our cosmic drive keys now missing. If I don't find that, the drake won't be able to fly fast enough to get us back to Kopai. That would be very, very bad. You better hope it ain't broken. Talk. Brittany, I'm coming to help you now. Okay, I think I'm good to go. We're still on the tutorial parts. There's a little bit of... N Nintendo likes to do these tutorial things for their video games. And they tend to go... They overstay their welcome. That's all. They always base the locations on seasons. Well, no, not, not exactly. Not for the first one, but for the second one they did. I don't know what you call the forest navel. That, that that's a that's a really that that area is a massive outlier in the series. I think like every area has their forestry, their, their pool. So now they got their snows. But the forest navel was like here's a weird cave that is annoying. I didn't I didn't really mind it that much. I think I minded more back when I first played it because I thought the area was confusing as shit. But I I really like the area. It's music and whatnot. When you should be around here, something is flashing on my map. Maybe it's her. I'm running out of sustenance, so I hope I find her before it's too late. I mean, what is she eating? Alright, time to, time to roll. Click the onion, follow me here. So where are the Pikmin? Oh. 21. Eh, oh, that's right. The data file I found explained all this. The onion is the Pikmin's nest. Or say, under the Pikmin onion, turn to yes. I'm going to install an application on the code pad that lets me check the Pikmin status remotely. Great. Come with me, and you will see. I will have a Pikmin die before your very eyes. Time to make little people. Let's go. Hmm, best way to handle this one. That'll do. The lock-on function is quite handy, isn't it? I'll get used to it. Ah. Pikmin 4 is in development, trust me. I am John Nintendo. I wouldn't lie to you. The game is never coming out! Get it. Ass successfully kicked. So which way do I want to go? That answers that question. Nice. I'm not really sure how moving captains works. Egg. Greedy. Greedy. A flower bloomed on that Pikmin's head. It's amazing how many plant-like qualities they possess. I wonder if they develop any new skills with this flower. Keep close eye on them. When when Pikmin consume nectar, they blossom into flowers. Wow. There. Consume. This will work. Just like that. These peas. Intelligent life. I have to find all those, huh? Alright. 
Alright, alright. Big. Okay. But what about Hey Pikmin? What about that one? I didn't play that one. I remember when I first saw that one, I was like, Oh, that's Pikmin 4, right? Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? It wasn't Pikmin 4. It was Hey Pikmin. Kick ass! I did that. That was all me. I got a hand in the elf. He's got a hell of an arm on him. Hey Pikmin, they're like, here's a 3DS Pikmin game. Is that Pikmin 4? No, please. You know what? You know what it was? At first I thought it was going to be Pikmin 4, and then I saw it was on 3DS, and I was actually hoping it wasn't Pikmin 4. I didn't want to get Federation Forced. Next game's Deadly Sin is going to be Wrath. It's going to be a Muso game with Pikmin. <laughs> that doesn't, that doesn't, there's no way to make that work. Knowing Nintendo's uh, current history right now with being shitters, it's probably going to be based on pride. We made this. This game is great. You'll give us full price for this. We'll make it shit. Shit game. Oh no, Brittany's just lying there. I hope it's not. I'm not too late. Pick up, Brittany. Pick up. Please be alive. Was Brittany really the closest name they could think of to Bravo? Alf, sorry about that. I was just taking a little nap. So you're close by. Why wasn't I moving, you ask? He, well, you know me. I'm a pretty sound sleeper, even with all those creatures creeping around. Pikmin 4 will come out, it'll be a game that just Nintendo jerking themselves off about how great they are, and then it'll be a timed exclusive. <laughs> Full price, too. It'll come with the... It'll come with the complete soundtrack of Pikmin 1, 2, and 3, and then you find out it's just Pikmin 1 on emulator. <gasps> but it's called Pikmin 4 because it's Pikmin HD. Never mind that. Listen, I discovered what looks like to be a piece of fruit. It's over here. But I'm kind of stuck here for the time being. Could you go and check it out for me? Yes. Full price, increased value. Pay your Mario tax, children. Play your, pay your Mario tax. You want to spend $60 on Mario. Wow, it's even bigger than I thought it would be. If this giant thing really is a fruit, then we hit the jackpot. I like my Wahoo tax. I'd like to analyze it with Drake, but how could I get it there? I didn't buy the uh, the 3D All-Stars collection. As much as I love Galaxy and I would love to play those games, Chad, I hate that business practice a lot. <laughs> I really don't want to support it with money. <laughs> 60 full price game. You you buy you buy emulated Mario 64. You buy you like. Joey. Do not make fan content of my video game. You buy you buy Mario full price. No. Ew, this that's disgusting. Well, I'm going to defeat it. Oh, I'm dead, that's it. It's the jellyfish, but they they touched them up to look more like a creature than just a jellyfish. I dig it. The Christian buy it? Well, that's his that's his decision, not mine. Oh, uh, these creatures Pikmin too? They give me a funny look. Hmm. I I hate these things. I I hate to be that guy, but why in the goddamn do they make rock Pikmin? <laughs> What was wrong with purple Pikmin? Ugh. It's like spaghetti noodles when they're wet. 
Their onion was trapped inside a crystal. Since I have two types of Pikmin now, I can select the ones I use with L and R. Yep. They're just, yeah, they're just rocks with appendages and Google eyes. Then you want to split them up by type, press Y to dismiss the squad. Okay. Yeah. Rock Pikmin are immune to crush. But are they... They're effective on Yoda then, huh? Oh, the drake is sending us a message. I gave it a berry. Analyzing. Mmm, crash! <laughs> Strawberry juice. Can you just juice fruit and then drink it? Large quantities of... Pictamin U detected. This is a seed bearing fruit. Make cultivation on Culpi possible. Juice from this fruit is safe for consumption by crew members. How did the onion get stuck inside of the crystal? You're asking too many questions for sentient rocks. <laughs> I'll add a fruit file to the Culpi so we can store the result of an analysis. Yes, the fruit folder. It grew, it grew, it grew, <laughs> what? Grew around the onion. It was stuck inside of it, though. Oh. Pick this up. Retriever fruit in story mode. Make me more rocks. Yes. They're geniuses. They're absolute geniuses. <laughs> New sprouts will be the same color as the pick when they retrieve the pelt. Hold on, so some of the bit files don't load up. It's probably related to the hints. So I, it doesn't load up the ones like the, that are like just hints. There we go. I like that it will let me throw rock pick no matter where they are in the squad. That's nice. That's nice. It's very nice. <clears throat> Pikmin classified as meat or vegetable. They're vegetables. Actually. Wait. Bro, what? I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. You're the you're the carrot. What are they? They're probably I I would imagine they're meat. Because the creatures like eating them, right? So they're probably related to meat. What's a tomato? Uh, wait. That was the wrong button. I can't remember how to switch squad. Eleanor, that's what it was. There we go. Gotta remember that's how that works. Yeah, those are set in this game, so that's nice at least. I'll just keep looking around, enjoying the view. Yes. Go here. On the cold pads radar line and destinations to start moving. Dude, a data file about this. Now that I think about it, there was indeed a go here function built into the radar. I'm not going to be able to use that. I'm not going to use that. Because that requires management. Micromanagement that I can't do. So what's this? It's nothing. That's what it is. I'm here to help. She was never getting out of there without my help, huh? Meat and vegetable can be one of the same. What are they called again? The the, the vegan burgers that smell awful? Uh, Beyond Beef? That's what they're called. Well, I can't tell you how happy I am to get out of this place. Chat, there was burger week like two weeks ago, and the burgers looked great, but I couldn't go out and buy burgers. One of them looked like a, an absolute pile of grease. And I was like, oh god, it looks so good. Sick of sleeping outside, I'm super hungry. 
one day. What's with your entourage there? Is that what you say? They're called Pikmin. They're cute. But we don't have time for cuteness right now. Look over there, Alfie. Something I've learned about the, the ad thing right now. Uh, first of all, I have no idea how to do anything about it. I, I keep getting ads myself. Apparently the, uh, I, I don't I don't know the, the technical mumbo jumbo, but it seems if you try to run an ad blocker, it, it forces uh, mid-roll ads just for some reason. There was supposed to be an update to ad blocker that blocks it all, but that doesn't seem to work for me. And then I just disabled it entirely and it's still annoying. Ad breaks are annoying as fuck, dude. Let's work together and have a huge piece of fruit. You think about how he just yeeted her really far? He's got more arm strength than I gave him credit for. Y button. Yep. Let's wide open menu and switch leaders. Split the two spin manager work a little more effectively. Seven. Five. There we go. Cool. Here's what I'm gonna do. Let me. Let me just span. That's not what I wanted to happen. I want to take the rock boys. And I want to give the, the red Pikmin to her. That's the wrong button again. Because there were, there's some there's some crushy boys over here. See them? They're kind of gross looking. Disgusting. Ew. Oh, they're nasty looking. Kick its ass. They can't stick to things. That's their problem. Okay, I won't worry about that for now. But I'll keep it there. Let's, uh... Let's get the rock pick from moving with some of this, I suppose. There we go. And... Perfect. And just like that, we're done. And now I can have her finish the bridge with the red Pikmin. Multitasking at its finest. I'm just trying really hard to be worse YouTube right now. You're not wrong. Did you see, um... Twitch, uh, finally, like, made a blog post or something regarding the DMCA stuff. But it was, like, very shallow and didn't really amount to anything other than just don't play copyright music forehead. Get, get punished. Get punished for a clip from three years ago. Take it out of the system. Shouldn't have played copyrighted music. What are you? What are you, fucking idiot? So what's wrong with you, Mike? What are you doing? They're really making it more difficult. I agree with uh, Vinny's opinion on it. Like, there's not much you can really do, I suppose, in the grand scheme of things. It's, they're gonna be assholes. Alright, alright, they're gonna be assholes about it. They're gonna be assholes about it. But, like... The fact that Twitch is just kind of, like, rolling over and being like, Well, I guess this is what's happening. Guess you're just gonna eat shit for a clip. No, uh, no, way, no two ways around that one, huh? They should probably do a little bit more to protect creators from getting absolutely shit-showed by this kind of thing. Like, Chad, imagine, imagine you're, just, you're sitting there and you're just having a good old time and... Oops, suddenly a clip from seven years ago with copyrighted music it's, gets a strike on your channel and then the goodbye channel there you go there's your whole streaming platform gone oops oops the characters are really small in pikmin very 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 small someone said their dead space while got muted before because a song uses a sample from the game yep that happens too the radar is picking up something but i'm talking like uh like dmca claims that that's, I don't think that would fall into the same thing. As a signal coming from here, it must be the captain. Where could that be? 
Let's go there right away. I will go there after. There are some frogs that need to be injured. Hmm. Bring it. Turn around and look at me. Now the ass kicking. It only... Okay, cool. Now he needs to turn around. There. Excellent. Okay. Hmm. That requires friendship. I'm not ready for that part. Taking creators and earn the money? Creators are what get them ads. They do make money off creators. They make uh, they make 50% off all subs too. There's no creators, they don't make any revenue. So they should they should protect the creators a bit better. There are materials for constructing a bridge on the opposite shore. Or I work together with Brittany, I think I can get the bridge built. To ask Brittany to join the squad, move her cursor, call her, press B. Yes. Yes, I can do that. But first. They used to weigh more. Sun will be setting soon. Any stray Pikmin will only face attacks from nocturnal predators. But the Pikmin that are close to the enemy should be able to make it back on their own. Make sure the Pikmin are on your squid. I better call back the Pikmin who aren't in my squad before it's too late. But it could be tiring to walk around everywhere to collect all the Pikmin. So I'll make sure that when you press A near the S's Drake, a whistle will sound that will call all Pikmin back to the onion. What is that baby mode shit? What? That's so baby mode. I, I cannot condone baby behavior like that. I have all my Pikmin. Don't worry, everyone's safe and sound. I needed rocks. God damn it. The onion stopped spitting out seeds. Can that be disabled? I'm just not going to use it. <laughs> but the Pikmin inside the onion seems to be increasing in numbers. Apparently, once the surface population reaches 100, new Pikmin are born inside the onion. That means the maximum of 100 Pikmin can be hit. I've gotten this spiel every single game. Okay. I'll take care of that in a bit. Seven Pikmin unaccounted for the room of Brittany. I need to go get my rock, boys. Okay, put them all back in. Uh, yes. Where is the rock boy? Where were they? I think they're over here. No, there's nothing wrong with it. If you, uh, if you benefit from it, it's fine, but... It's one of those things where it's like... I don't need it, so I'm not gonna use it, but... Uh, I'm glad that it at least gives me the option. In uh, in Pokemon, Pokemon's EXP share is one that I think of a lot for this example. The uh, EXP share is something that went from a hold item to a usable key item. And you could turn it on or off. It, it gave every Pikmin, it, Pikmin, it gave every Pokemon in the party EXP, but you could disable it if you didn't want to use it. But in Sword and Shield, they didn't they didn't allow that. That's my issue with it, is that they didn't they didn't allow you to disable it if you didn't want to use it. They just made you use it because, well, you have to. That's that's the rule. I should have brought some Pikmin over here. The EXP share didn't exist in Gen 1. It was called the EXP All. I actually don't know how it worked, though. 
It was probably a key item because held items didn't exist, but it was a different item all in, in, in question. I guess they just changed everything after Gen uh, 5 to be the EXP all, but it still had the same name. Signal seems to be coming from something over there. I'm gonna watch them beat up the wall. Talk to me, chat, while we watch them destroy Pink Floyd for 10 seconds. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. EXP all was 50% to the Pokemon that did the fight, 10% to the backliners. So each one got 10%. Alright, I got one layer off the wall. It's fine. I have an acoustic guitar. An acoustic guitar, and I'm not afraid to play Wonderwall. I think, wasn't, the EXP share was some, what is it, like, uh, something like 25% of the EXP or something? Because I'm pretty sure you get more EXP from switching than you do from the EXP share. But then the EXP share is a one-time thing, you gotta wonder. Do all Canadians say acoustic? Acoustic. 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 You say Z or Z? I say whatever suits my fancy at the moment. Very interesting. They merge into one. To make note of this fascinating behavior. Disgusting. Different colored onions confused into a single onion. Let's analyze the other fruit. Face wrinkler. Chat, have you ever, uh, have you ever drank pure lemon juice? Ooh, that makes my, that makes my cheeks tingle just looking at it. <laughs> I say Porygon Z, and then, yeah, Porygon Z sounds stupid. I've never said Porygon Z in my life. I just mix lemon juice and strawberry juice to create evil. Evil liquid. Good gulp noises. I like lemons, but I've never been able to eat a whole one in my entire life. I can eat seven wedges before I have, like, the eighth one makes me want to vomit. I don't know why, it's just, it's too much for me to handle. My poor babby, my poor babby system. We discovered a mysterious broadcast signal. What on Kopai could it be? It might be our captain, but something tells me it could be related to that person who has been leaving all the data files for us. I'll have to find out tomorrow. The suspense is killing me. Typical oversaturation. Probably. They're good, and it's like, holy shit, that's way too much. I feel that way about some food. You know, you notice how some foods, like... Maybe it's just because they're heavy or something, but you always kind of, like, get... Sick of them. But not just like, oh, I can't eat anymore, like... The, the, sometimes you eat food and you, you're done with it, and it's like, I don't feel like eating anymore, and then it's like, if I eat anymore, I'm not going to, it's not going to end well. You know what is a really weird one? Grapes. Grapes, grapes are a fruit that I have eaten, and I like them, but... They're, once you hit that, that last, that threshold grape, you know what I'm talking about. You, you eat that, uh, you eat that last grape, and you're just like, what am I doing right now? And then the grape just stops being a thing. I don't even know how to describe it. It just turns like the worst piece of shit you've ever seen in your life. But until that grape, all the other grapes are fantastic. I don't understand how that one works. That was amazing how Pikmin freed you like that. I am indeed fortunate that they were present. They appear to be intelligent, friendly creatures. Perhaps we can get them to help us look for fruit. Like, my, one of my favorite foods, Chad, is mashed potatoes, and I love mashed potatoes. And I shovel that stuff down my throat, because it's really good. But every time I eat mashed potatoes, I think, that was too much. I'm, I'm not going to make it. I'm going to be sick. But every single time I see them, I'm like, I got to eat this. It's too good. <clears throat> we need to focus every drop of our energy on getting the Pikmin to help us gather fruit. Fruit. 
We also need to find the cosmic drive key. We won't make it home without that. Right, let's focus all the energy on retrieving food and the key. Let's think about something else. You don't feel full in mashed potatoes until you stop eating. <laughs> yeah, and that's that's how they get you. So I, I shovel them down, and then when I stop, I'm like, oh shit, I'm full now. I, got, I can't do that. Except for finding the cat, we need to rescue him as well. So, we just, we'll just get the food, the key, and the captain. Is that everything? What's that signal coming from over there? I sincerely hope it's the captain. Let's hurry over there. Good idea. Might be hogging all the fruit for himself. Speaking of potatoes, what about gravy? How do you like your gravy? I thought for the longest time that I liked chicken gravy. But it turns out the gravy that I've been having for so long was beef gravy. But the thing is, I've had beef gravy that has like these little chunks in it. And they're disgusting. Ugh. Ugh. Blech. It ain't right. Let's go 6040. Pardon me. Oh. There's three in the field. Somehow. Thirty-five, sixty is fine. Okay. Turkey gravy. Okay, let's let's play the video game. I didn't realize that the weather could be different. I don't remember that at all. Now it's rainy. Does that change the terrain or like what enemies show up? Um, I went the wrong way. I wanted to go the other way. Hmm. I'm not interested in Peliposis. I want to take out the frogs and get the next objective out of the way. He's over here, yeah. There we go. Hmm. Okay, frog. I'm gonna use... I'm gonna use the red Pikmin deal with the frogs. Ass kicking. No. That doesn't work. The technique doesn't work. Shit. Now what do I do? I'd rush them, but I'm afraid he's gonna crush them. I mean, he can't crush the rock Pikmin, so maybe... Got him. Frog is done for. Good. Yo. Look at Slug Boy in there. <laughs> Chat, what is, what is that fish? You know that fish that looks like that? I think it's a bloister. No, it's definitely a bloister, but he looks like he looks like that fish. The the blob fish. I fucking love that guy. Nice, there we go. I don't see anything of relevance here. I'm gonna need to find the secret files too, huh? Not that I know where any of those are. Five. Okay, I'll take care of that. I need to get Rock Pikmin over to the other side, so I need Brittany to, to throw Brittany with them. Come with me. Time for tech. Speed run. You can do with that. There we go. Okay. Skitter Leaf was a pretty, uh, pretty shit enemy. I'm glad it got a, a better form in this game, even if it is an annoying bastard of an enemy. Excellent. Wait a minute, why... Why couldn't I withdraw... I couldn't withdraw 100, but I could net what, huh? 
What? I couldn't withdraw a hundred, but then five Pikmin grew in the ground anyway. What's up with that? This is a this is a puzzle that requires captains. Yeah, there's no reason to do this one right now. I can come back and do it all in one swoop uh, with all three. Ran out of rock Pikmin. Oh, I just didn't have enough Pikmin. Really? Oh. But this is the part where I say, oops. Maybe I should have made more rocks. Then again, I pretty much only bring rock Pikmin for when they're absolutely necessary. And they they aren't too much. I can't get crushed, at least. Alright, come along, little ones. Oh, wait, no. Finish your, finish your goo. Eat your goo. They make a cute noise, though. Okay. Forgot you can do that. Hmm. Gotta utilize that a little better, I suppose. There we go. Fan Pikmin in Unity? No, I did not. I have uh, I have two sunshines I'm looking into though. Two sunshine games I'm looking into. I wanna try those out when I get some time. There's also the fact that now that I have this capture card there are a lot more games I can do outside of the uh, PC availability on Switch and uh, PS4. What's this data file doing all the way out here? One of them is definitely double focus. I wanna play double focus. Search for treasure continues with no luck, but I can't fly back home in Hokotay without procuring a few priceless artifacts. I'm sensing something valuable up ahead, but I'm also sensing danger. So if someone finds this data file, please send word to my son that I didn't make it. Olimar is dead. Captain Olimar? The, uh, there's another captain who's been through here, and he's from Hokotay. People from their planet go to such extremes to scavenge treasure. Maybe it's all the vegetables they eat that make them so treasure crazed. Well, sad to say, it looks like this Olimar met his end up ahead. You better be careful. Imagine surviving two games and then dying to this. Come along, friends. Let's go into the big, scary-looking tree. Some kind of nest. Yes. Something doesn't feel quite right here. That's alright, see? It's just a giant shrimp. Big boog. Nope. Nope. Throw rocks at it. Make it hurt. It's soft on the inside. We all soft on the inside. This exoskeleton has made a crystal. You use rock paper to smash it. Cool. Well, I broke its mandibles. Hopefully it retreats with that. Okay. It's only boss one. Genius. Genius. I didn't know you could break its mandibles, though. Hmm. Doesn't seem to want to eat them. So that's nice, at least. Now I can hurt it. Great! Yeah, it's just kind of running away. Fantastic. Now we bully it. Alright, sure. 
hard mode. I guess I'll just break more of it. It just doesn't care. Easy. Easy game. Game is for baby. What? Oh. Hold on, I wanna get the... I wanna break the whole thing. No other reason than I want to, though. I don't think it does anything. Is it gonna start attacking me now? Nope. It's head. There we go. What a beautiful creature. What a beautiful creature. Lovely. Melted. Melted. Wait. It's dead, right? Bro, what? What? It has a last word. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Motherfucker was just living on one HP the whole time. He died to a single rock. Yeah, it can't, uh, it can't trap and eat anything with it, uh, with, uh, with the mandibles, but I didn't know you could even break them. It makes sense, they're made of crystal, but I never actually succeeded in that. If there's where the signal is coming from, then that means... We still don't know where the captain is. Okay, well, for now, I'll take it back to the Drake for analysis. It looks like it'd be useful. Yes. Yes. Flaw in the armor. Defeat the armored mall dad. Okay. I'm gonna give... I'm gonna give the, the monster to the rock boys. Chat, this is a dragon fruit. Have you ever heard of it? It is... I've never had one. But I hear they're actually kind of bland. Even though you would expect them to be really cool given their names. Anyway, I just want to look around, make sure I don't miss anything. There's no reason for me to go back with them. I need secret files. Secret files could be anywhere. Looks cool, at least. That's probably where it got its name, right? It kind of looks like a fireball. A big, cool fireball, but I guess this doesn't taste that great. A lot of fruit I've never had. I don't even know what a star fruit is. They lack flavor. That's what it is. Well, I, I guess they, they, they judged a book by its cover. Imagine being the guy who named that. And it's like, yo, it's called dragon fruit. And that yeah, obviously that's going to sell. That's going to sell right there. That's a sick name. And they try it and they're like, well, it doesn't really taste like a dragon. Well, now you know what? I guess it's accurate. It's called dragon fruit because much like its flavor, it's non-existent. I understand why they named it that now. No, I want the rock pigment. God damn it. There. Starfruit has a nice name too. Big block. Yes. Shatter that egg. Genius. Brilliant. Fucking brilliant, mate. I don't think there's anything else I can do. Hmm. Oh, a message from the Drake. If I read as long, when you cut slices, it looks like a star. Oh, I thought it just looked like a star. Analyze and recovered item. This phone is old. Data glutton. Look, you can tell it's old because it has a keyboard. Oh, what a horrible squeak noise. 
An ancient communication device used on this planet. It contains technology unknown to Copai and is emitting a signal even now. This thing still has a battery charge. No signal though. I'll have Al take a look at it this tonight, see if we have any use for it. He might have a few ideas of engineer expertise. Pig. Is that everything? No, we have not gotten here yet. Wish I would stop throwing him. Beautiful. Beautiful. How is that going to get into the onion? There's no way. Bro, that thing just got slurped. Absolutely sucked. Now what? Now what do I do? That's it. The game's over. Hold on. I wanna. I wanna walk around the water. See if I can find anything. Absolutely sucked. Delicious. I wanna, I wanna see, I wanna see. There are some data files that are hidden and I need to collect them now. Might need a hand with those, eventually. For now, I think it's fine though. Let's take a look around, see if I can see anything at all. Hmm. Let's buy that glass one. Hmm, <clears throat> silverfish? I think it was more like a, I don't know, prawn? Look like a, look like a shrimp, some kind of shrimp hybrid. There is nothing here in the water. Can't do anything with the yellow fence. <laughs> the creatures look like they taste nice cooked. <laughs> Found the Louie. <laughs> Underwater creatures, better not get too close. I want to be its friend. Look at it. Ew. Ooh, look at its tongue. Yo, let's go. It inked. I need orders. So how about you stop running around like that? Fine. You know, it give... I think if you gave me enough time, I could take this creature out barehanded. I, I would estimate it would probably take over five minutes. But, well, just saying, I could do it. I could win that bite. Nice, I got the controller wire stuck under the chair. As if that's... How is that even possible? Fucking brilliant, mate. Red Pikmin tastes like peppers. Blue Pikmin tastes like, uh, lettuce. Water lettuce. Lettuce, lettuce that tastes like water. Iceberg lettuce, I guess? I don't know. Yellow gives you indigestion. It's spicy because it has bomb rocks. Poison, or er, poison. White one. New fruit, yay. Fire breathing feast. Why does it make a horrible squeaky noise when I rotate stuff? Wait, chat. Is that... Is that Yu-Gi-Oh? Is that... Is that Pegasus's eye? The Millennium Eye? Here? Of all places? Dragon fruit juice. It's pink. Absolutely juiced. Perfect. Bottoms up. Drink your blue juice. It's good to build our juice supply like this. We should be alright for a little while. How do you survive a month with only drinks at the end of the day? How, how potent is that juice that you can drink it like that? That's crazy. It's like they, they're out there the entire day and then the only thing they have to look forward to for a meal is 
Oh, rationed gulp. There's pulp in it. Oh, of course, yes. That that is <laughs> that takes care of the rest of their daily nutritional needs. <laughs> we recovered the communication device that was inside the armored mall dead. According to Elf, this device contains parts that may expand the Drake communication range. I've never seen him so excited. I'm more than happy to write today's report while Elf examines the device. I mean, he sometimes he can be so diligent. I mean, these these greedy idiots have like almost eaten their entire race into starvation. You can now fight the Armada and defeat bosses mode. Drink your juice. They're surprisingly conservative with their juice, considering what they're, uh, why they're out here in the first place. Guess they're not that stupid. Searching for signals. Just straight up a picture of Charlie. Where am I? Brilliant elf, you've expanded the Drake's receiving range. The juice is huge though. True. True. But at the same time, it's only juice. I could drink a gallon of water, but I'll still be hungry. Oh thanks, they don't call me the keen engineer for nothing. Nobody calls you that. I know. The origin of the signal is unclear. Maybe it's the captain we should investigate at once. Didn't you see his pic- his picture's right there, dude. Good idea, Elf. Let's do it. So that memo data file we found was left behind by someone from the planet Hokotate. Correct. I wonder how Hokotations would fare on this planet. They're vegetarians, you know. Vegetarians? Does that mean what I think it means? If, if you think it means they don't eat meat, then yes. I didn't know that the Hokotations were vegetarians. What the fuck? Damn. Hokotate is well known for its pick-pick carrots. I tried them once. They were kind of gross. Louis is not a vegan. <laughs> no way. Louis is definitely not a vegetarian. That motherfucker ate bugs. He, he is a... He, he is a meat eater. He's an omnivore. You ate vegetables. I can hardly believe it. It was my duty as a botanist, but those carrots aren't really well suited for the copotype. Copite type palate. Right, but if we ate vegetables, maybe we wouldn't have to travel 279,000 light years to get food. Chat, that's lore. Now we know the distance between their planet and the Pikmin planet. Dissect that lore. Louis is actually a meat eater. Game theory. 10 minutes. 15 minutes. No. 25 minute video. The distance was stated in the opening cutscene. I didn't pay attention to that then. We just fucked up another landing. Too bad it's not at 380,000. That's the distance from me to clowns. Ouch, 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 my face. Alfie, are you okay? <laughs> Two 10 minute videos. I like the way you think. Three 15 minute videos. It's even better. Alfie, I said, are you okay? Alfie, are you okay? Alfie, are you okay? Are you okay, Alfie? Oh man, don't tell me we've been separated again. I like how she fell face first and her uh, her glasses didn't fall off. Sure is dark in here. Sure is. Why do they do this? This is straight vibing. I'll make a reaction video to my own videos too. That's genius. Oh, it's brilliant. Dude, it's, the revenue just produces itself. What are these Pikmin doing? I'm just gonna walk around while there's no time limit going on. See? I don't have to do anything at all. Damn, she can fly. Oh, 
There we go. Zippity zap. The Pikmin are back. I'm glad they utilized the electricity thing with the yellow Pikmin better in this game. There, uh, there was no electricity in the first game. They were bomb rock users. And in the second game, they gave them electricity resistance. And now they actually use it like this. The yellow Pikmin probably get the most developed abilities in the series. Because the blue Pikmin are just, they can go on water. And the red Pikmin are just, they can go on fire and they're a bit stronger. So another onion, I guess, might need light to live. But the yellow Pikmin's abilities always seem to grow. If they get something new. They lost the bomb rock thing, though, in the second game. Yo, I'm dead. That's it. Dude. <laughs> this is the most exaggerated knockback I've ever seen. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> just a little bit of electricity and I, I fly like I just got slapped by Goku. Yellow Pikmin used to be exclusive though. Oh, I see. Those little screw things are lock-on panels, so I can lock onto them for a consistent throwing method. I understand everything now. You're kidding me with that one. Come here, you little... There we go. There we go. There we go. It's all easy when you set your mind to it. Whee! I still don't think it would cause me to do this. I want to disintegrate. It is my life's passion. You know what it reminds me of? You know when you get KO'd in Street Fighter? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just, it's not in slow motion though. But that's that's just about as exaggerated as you can get for Street Fighter 2. All right, time for Steel Ball Run. It's the best part. You read, read it, read. Call yourself a JoJo's fan. You haven't read part seven? Read it. Is only good JoJo. Part three, overrated. Part seven, only. Watch part seven. Woo, it's good to be outside again. I was getting claustrophobic in that cave. If I can't tell how much time has passed, time doesn't pass. Hey, and there's Elf and the SS Drake. Oh, I'm over here. Oh, Brittany, thank goodness you're okay. I see you're on the other side of the river. Someday. Our first priority is to reunite. Let's work together. Please give me instructions. Let's play the video game. Got it. Let's play the video game now. This place is absolutely freezing. If we don't move, I'm afraid we're going to die of exposure. Is that so? That is if we don't die of starvation first. Kids game. Kids game. Yes, kids game. New type of Pikmin. Pinyat. Pinyat. Now it's game time. Okay. Yellow Pikmin can destroy fences that are electric. Did you know that? Did you know? Okay, I need to figure out what I'm doing here. I guess I need to send some rock Pikmin her way. So let's go with uh, 25 rock boys and 30, 30 red boys. Yes. Pinot. Yes. Hmm. There's a lot more story to Pikmin 3 than the previous ones. 
I don't think it's that bad. I just wouldn't mind if it wasn't all there, I suppose. There we go. Okay. Excellent. Uh, maybe that's not such a good idea at the moment. This might kill me. Yeah, yeah, that might that might kill me. Maybe that's not a good idea. Let's wait on that for a bit. So they're gonna wait there. That's good. I'm gonna use these guys before I start looking around. Snowballs are non-lethal. Oh, that's good. That's good to know. Wrong button. Excellent. So what is the plan here? It's a burrowing hatch net. I remember those guys. They're kind of terrible enemies. Like, they don't do their job well. But in, in 251, they did a very good job. The design on them looks pretty sick in this game, though. Well, life has a way of screwing everything over, doesn't it? Let's be careful. Okay, there we go. Yes. Yes. Yes! He's just too strong. Ass kicking. See? I'm helping. Um... Well, what can I say? These things happen. No, yellow Pikmin get a... I know electricity is an insta-kill in this game. I remember that. It was bound to happen eventually. It just sucks that it had to happen here. That's all it is. It's just unfortunate. These things happen. So get over it. Here we go. The rock pipin kind of, kind of, kind of suck ass, don't they? That's for sure. Where do these go? Okay, next part. Let's go over here. This guy is uh, he makes himself electrical. I remember him. Yeah, this dude. Doog. And then he he fucks off. Sticky. Sticky. Excellent. Snowballs are non-lethal. Remember that. Okay. Hmm. Whatever. <sighs> Give it to the rocks. Snowball dude. Well, that's, that's okay too. I gotta build the bridge before anything. I need to go get my yellow Pikmin back too. Say the game's out now? Well, I know what I'm doing tomorrow. How, how much, how much, how much money does it cost? How much money? Any idea how long it is? I need info. I need info. I'll go back in the cave first. I don't keep track of the days very much anymore. I'm gonna go learn Taoism. I'm ready for it. I'm ready to ascend. Yeah, it's a different dev. It's just the uh, same artist. Okay, that's, that's about the reason. That's about the same price as the other ones. I just, uh... I'm a little bit worried about the quality, just because it's not a, it's not the same guy. But it looks fine. It looks like it'll be good. I just wonder how it's gonna be done. Okay. Chat. I'll be right back. One sec.
Sorry about that. I'm good. Okay. I don't remember what I'm doing. Ooh, what am I doing? I need to throw yellow Pikmin over there. Right. That'll work. Okay. Take care of Snowball Man. Oh, I see. Yes, the convenience option. Okay. Before I go and do any of that, let's see. What's the plan here? I'm gonna go around. I could just ditch them here, but I'll take them with me. They dig the fastest too? I didn't even realize that was a, an attribute in this game. <laughs> Come with me. Come with me. Uh. Uh. What? Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Oh. There we go. There we go. <sighs> the whistle is huge. Let them take care of that. Okay, let's... Good, good thing. Good thing that it's not an instant kill or I would have just lost a couple toasty rocks. Okay. Only yellow Pikmin can get that cherry on his head. Alrighty. How do I get that file though? There's a little bit of Valley of Repose on the music here. You hear it? Oh, whatever. I need to figure out what my plan is over here right now. I took care of those ones, so I need to go in here. Wrong guys. Okay. Okay. There's the anteater. Snowballs are fine. And we're good. Before I do that, probably should take care of uh, this. That thing is nasty. Okay. He's always going to do that motion no matter what. i probably kill him. <laughs> that was kind of adorable. Bye. Come back. Come back. Come back. Good. There's an anteater man, but he worries me. So let me do this first. Probably won't do... Probably won't do that. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Not sure yet. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Those things look weird. I mean, I'll get a Pikmin kill by this thing again. See? No one died, the end. Wait, I don't know where that's gonna go if I take them down there. Before I do that... What the hell is that? Oh, it's Gachapon. Oh. Huh. Well, I'll be. Okay, hold on. Let's, uh, let's not do that yet. Let me look around first. I need to go in the fire arena. Uh-oh. 
almost juiced them. I forgot about the upgrades. I need to get up there. How do I get up there? Doesn't seem like there's anything else. That seems fine to me. Okay. Successful operation, I think. Still a bit more I have to do. I really gotta look around this whole area. Build more bridge pieces. All the Pikmin are safe. Just can go back in the cave and get the yellows. Rocks can drown. Expect it. Don't worry, none of my Pikmin are gonna drown. Yet. They might, they might drown later. That's a very real possibility. Well. This is an issue, isn't it? Well, Brittany can't get back. What about the rock Pikmin I have? Are they just dead because they can't get back to the onion? What do I do? They're screwed. That's it. That ain't coming back. I gotta get them back. There we go. Problem solved. Okay, let's not do that. I have enough rock picking now. Hmm. In exchange, 10 for 10. See? And there we go. Now everything is good. Can I just move to sunset? Yes. End the day. I'll have to do another one. Got one more day to do this. I blew it. I didn't get any fruit either. There's a bull bear here. She'll be fine. She just she just has to hide in the cave. She's gonna go hungry though. Today we collected nothing. Sorry, Brittany, just hang on for one more day. Drink drink your drink your lemon strawberry juice. We have enough food to keep us fed for a little while. You mean me. Brittany ain't eating shit. Excellent stats. Pure lemon juice tomorrow. Get ready. We follow the captain's signal into a desolate tundra. Due to poor visibility, I mishandled the ship. And, uh, well, I lost control and Brittany was thrown overboard. Trudging for her in blizzard-like conditions won't be easy, but I was able to verify that she's safe. I'll get her back. She'll get, she'll get wrinkly-faced. So you ever see those pictures of Simpson screenshots where they, they, they give this wrinkly face? What's up with that one? This is this fucking face that they, they, they just... I don't even know where it came from. It just, it's the kind of face you make when you eat a lemon. It's just Simpsons edits with that face all over him. I can't shake the idea that the SS Drake crash was my fault. Well, well you, were, you were flying it and it crashed, so it's probably your fault. I need to talk to the captain, but I'm going to need Brittany's help track him down. Alright, I'm going back in. Lemon face. How come how come eating sour things messes with your ability to whistle? What's up with that? Also feels like sour foods are the hardest things to eat. M multiple of. It's from Brittany. Yeah, I'm I'm coming, I'm here. Morning, Elfie. I had to sleep outside last night. The area I camped in didn't seem safe enough, though. Thing is, I'm getting pretty hungry. 
So let's find a way to get back together ASAP. She'll really like me for my juice. Man, she's not gonna be too happy that the only thing she has to look forward to when she gets back to the ship is pure lemon juice. All right. Let's get some work done. Sour is basically acid. Well, they're definitely not, uh... They ain't the best to consume. I think a lot of the things we eat as humans are pretty fucking stupid. Did you know that rhubarb is poisonous? That thing we garnish food with? But the only way you'd actually be able to, like, eat enough to poison yourself? You need to eat, like, a fucking... A, a ridiculous amount of rhubarb. To actually feel any of its effect. Like, what the hell is wrong with us? <laughs> As humans, the people people who discover what food is edible and which ones aren't, they're, they're, they're something, all right. I can't go that way until I get the both captains. This guy's in the way of the bridge. This is a, uh, this is Dingus McDickhead. He just, yep. Wait, did he not eat my Pikmin? I thought he did. What? He totally ate one of my Pikmin, right? Huh. I could have swore I heard a Pikmin get eaten. Goodbye. Magical fruit. Alright. Now uh, that's going. Hmm. The man who invented toast. He had- he, he made bread. And he was like, do it again. <laughs> the mad lad. They told us never to double dip, but never to double toast. Okay, before I before I partake in this shit show. Excellent. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. These guys can eat Pikmin, but they're also on fire, so Well that looks inviting. They're kind of silly looking, huh? Right, now I'm on fire. Yeah, I'm not- I'm not- I'm not flame retardant. I can't do that. Wow, they're kind of- Kind of weak. Yeah, you target everything but the enemy! Yeah! Well, wow, that was really cool, the way that the fucking elf targeted everything but the only threat in the entire thing. No, that was, that was, that was good. Do it again. Why, why would you, why would you target the immediate threat when you could grab a fucking strawberry or, or hit a corpse? Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Take me to ultra spicy mode. I'm ready for spicy. I'm already ready for spicy mode. It's Pikmin for Bobby. I wanna get the gotcha. All done. Yes, the bridge is complete. Now I can finally reunite with Brittany. Boys? Boys. Excellent. That really worked. Okay. Before I go get Brittany, here's some technique. How much do I need? Tell me that's a bigger whistle. This thing looks familiar. He has a recorder. Chat. When you're when you're a kid, you play the recorder. What what does the recorder do? What what like uh 
What musical format do you use a recorder in? What do you do with the recorder? I need to get the grape. Yes. How do I... How do I get the grapes? Huh. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to get the grapes. Come with me. Was there uh, was there another thing down here? I mean, this spot's warm because of the fire boogs. There's a mushroom. And there's another mushroom. And then there's the grapes. But there's also a data file up there, so... How do I get up there, too? I, I can throw a captain. Right, yeah, you can throw captains. Analyzing recovered item. Dodge whistle. Oh, the, the roll! This is an optional part that adds a dodging feature to the regular whistle. Right, you can roll. I wonder if these are optional extras I saw in the spacesuit shop. Copai. Let's even got an instruction manual with it. I'll save it when expiration notes. Press the... <laughs> what? To roll... Roll dodge. Cool. I bet this will get me out of more than a few tight spots. How do you do it? How do you do it? Nice one, idiot. What's wrong with the Pikmin? They're panicking. Maybe whistling at them with B will help them calm down. Yo, what? Dude. Dingus. I don't know how to dodge whistle. I can't do it. Left, right, the directional buttons. What? Do I have to lock on? Eh? Oh. There we go. Figured it out. Figured it out. Not what I wanted to do. I wanted to take you. They're fine. They brought the things to the onion. Oh, yeah. I think this is where I need to go. So I'm actually not going to worry about that today. And I'm going to go to the other area with the grapes. Grape optional area. Yeah, you can just whistle your Pikmin and they're perfectly fine. It's crazy. It's like, oh, I'm on fire. Yo, bro, uh, chill out. Like, you, you, who cares you're on fire? You're fine. And they just went over and they're fine. Oops, I'm drowning. Just get over here. You're good. Help, I've been poisoned. Nah, nah, you're good, you're good. I forgot about this over here. I'm gonna bring Alf. I'm gonna bring Alf over. And I'm gonna get that. I'm going the wrong way. Hmm. Dodge whistle will be handy. Maybe if I remember how to use it when it needs to be used. I sure don't doubt that though. Let's go in the magical cave. I'm here. Yeah, see? Now we're together. Happy end. Ah. Takes care of that. My my experience with rolling comes from playing Bloodborne, Bloodbort, and Dark Souls. And let me tell you, rolling in those games, well, it works. But if you don't do it right, it really doesn't. 
Well, that was interesting. Cool. Uh, not what I wanted to do. Okay. What is this fruit? What is this? It looks kind of juicy, but at the same time, it looks kind of nasty. Plump. It's not a kiwi. It's not a plum either. I like plums. Passion fruit. What kind of lame ass name is that? <laughs> That's a bad name. <laughs> Starts with a B. A bad fruit. Okay, let me. Dig. Get it. So how do I get up there? Hmm. Hmm. How do I get that file? Probably need three captains for it or something. Oh. I'll check my other, uh... Where are my other Pikmin, anyway? I have them all. What did I want to do? I wanted to go up over here. There's gotta be a way to get that. I don't- I'm pretty sure I got it before, I just don't remember how. Some kind of chain of command shit. This is what I can use captains for, though. Yeah, I can do this. Bouncy boys. There. Now I can get the grapes. I like that they take turns. And I can't get over there without another captain. Because I need a... Uh, there's no way to get Brittany up over here. There we go. Grapes are done. Now we do the steel ball run. I'll open it up. I'll take it a look inside. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hmm. It's probably best I push the ball now in case the, the bug boys come back next day. That would be bad. Still, I went from no fruit to, uh, six fruit. I'd say that's pretty good. It's a mango steam. What is a mango steam? Is it a type of mango? That's a fruit I never had. A mango. I also don't think I've- I've never eaten an avocado. I also don't think I've ever had guacamole. Guacamole is a weird color of green, but I don't think it's that unappetizing, honestly. Please dig faster. Let's, let's wait a second here before I do this and crush them. Yeah. And now we push. Down she goes. What are the cashews? What? How? Guacamole is weird. All right, now the race. Do we get the cherry? He made it. He's a hero. Yeah. Two. 
One. Zero. Got him. Avocados. They have a big nut in the middle of them. The only fruit I haven't had in a long time is a pear. I used to like them a lot. Now I don't know what I'd think about them. I can't remember the last time I've seen a pear. Hmm. They're so weirdly shapen. To me, pears seem like that fruit that's up there with like apples and oranges, but you never hear about it. I mean, even I forgot about it. I just eat the damn things. The onion has evolved. Gray, red, and yellow. What a great color. Alright, time to juice. Here we go. Velvety Dream Drop. That's the color of the pear insides. Same as apples, but a little soft. Can't say I've ever had kiwi juice. I love kiwis, though. Sure, the wide variety of fruit on this planet. What, what else is out there? Keep exploring. I know I've said this before, chat, but I eat my kiwis with the rind. I used to cut them into wedges, but then I started eating them like an apple because I got lazy and the rhyme was fine anyway. So I, I pretty much devour the whole kiwi. Dapper blob. How dare you mix that in my kiwi juice. Dude, ew. The cum jar. Ruined it. Don pustules. I like it. I think, I think the contrast between the uh, the inside of the kiwi and the rind makes for good. Makes for good. The grape was only worth one bottle. I was so hungry I could have juiced the drink itself. Well, after a hard day's work, how about pure lemon juice? <laughs> Good, we still have plenty of juice left. Spooning kiwis? What the fuck? What? Huh? But why? Look at all that free stuff. That was a good day. Eventually, I'll be allowed to play the game. We finally completed the bridge over to the other shore. And Brittany discovered a type of yellow Pikmin. Besides their big ears, I'm excited to find out what other unique characteristics they may possess. I'll have to observe them closely. Good thing they're so cute to look at. Ooh, what a day. I didn't try to eat lemons. I eat lemons. I've never had a lime, though. I had a lime wedge before, and I hated it. But I've never really eaten a lime. Inspiration day six. So relieved you're okay, Brittany. It was a close call. I never would have made it without those yellow Pikmin. The little guys sure are helpful. If our mission is a success, we should have a party to thank all the little Pikmin. Okay, I'm gonna stop here. Right after I figure out what button that is. I figured it out. Genius. It's 10 to 10. I'm doing anything. I'm done here. But for the most part, I just kind of got the tutorial out of the way. Which is fine. Pikmin 3 does have a bit of an issue starting, huh? There are some mechanics about it that I like less than the previous ones, but I still like the game. I could do without the rock Pikmin, though. Still... I'll enjoy playing that for a while. 
And Spell Bubble as well. I'm looking forward to playing more of that for sure. That was fun. Again, I'll be back on Tuesday with this for sure. <laughs>